All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Overlord Season 4, Episode 11. Uh, I believe there's three episodes left, including this one. So, very much sure nearing the end of the season here. Um, last episode, we had crazy shit. Really respectable kind of talk between Zanak and Ainz, um, which ended in Zanak being like, fair enough, we're all going to die. Let's fight a good war. Um, it, it turns out that Ainz kind of held kind of deep respect for, uh, for Zanak, the way he presented himself as king. Um, but unfortunately, some dickhead nobles decided to try and weasel the way out of it, and it didn't work. They killed Zanak, and they've been sent off to the torturer. So good for them. They've not only killed themselves and probably their family in an awful way, but also they've pissed off Ainz even more. So... Or oh, they pissed off Ainz. He probably wasn't majorly pissed off before. Now he is. So yeah, uh, very much looking forward to this episode. As always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. Really appreciate the support on the Over Overlord series on my channel. Uh, you guys are all awesome. Very much appreciate it. And let's go right into this episode right now. Bruh, he's going to have to tell him his son just died. Oh, they don't know. I'll be surprised if Ains ca Ains came to him and said his son died. Him and Zanak, good kings. Respectable. You're one of us, yeah? Nah, there has to be an end to this. Oh yeah, she's seen the light, she's met Ains. Oh yeah, the people that are working with Ains. Yeah, you get to live. All the luggage? Does she mean luggage or the actual humans? Wait, whose room is he taken to? Oh, is he going to be tortured like they were? Uh, yeah, one hell of a baptism. Okay. Oh, here we go. Bro, look at all these soldiers. <laughs> he's, just, he's just buffing the shit, out, the shit out of himself like he needs to. Oh, here we go. We got Mr. Mr. Gundam. So from what I understand, the, the mech that he's got is from the game that Ayn's played. This is like technology that shouldn't be here, or... <laughs> State my name. This fucking cannon. Bro thought this was going to be easy. Oof. Yeah, they're just regular bullets, yeah? Wow. Yeah. My dude thought this was going to be easy. Damn, bro. You're saying all the wrong things right now. Yeah, but she's not going to eat. She's not bothered by it. The, the puny human can speak his words. Did somebody sneak up on him? Who is this? Cool ass armor. Oh, he's just hand to hand combat. Interesting. Which makes this guy basically useless, right? Sounds like a robot. No. Lol. You're gonna want to take that in a little bit, bro. Oh? So he's using HP to generate magic? What is this? No way Ainz is trapped in here. I don't think this is doing much damage to Ainz, but I think he's definitely surprised here. Can he manipulate everything within this barrier, maybe? Damn, this guy's pretty cool. He doesn't have a heart? Ah, yeah. That makes sense. He must be. Ainz isn't struggling, but he's like, he's having to, well, build a sweat, so to say. Doom Lord. Oh, shit. Al Albedo's against someone that's hella weak. 
Whereas uh, Ainz is up against someone that's putting up a fairly even match. Elemental Skull. Okay, Razor Chroma Skull, nice. I'm still talking, lol. Ainz bowing, what? I get it. It's kind of. I would have just killed the noble or took the king's head. I don't know. But yeah, that's not happening because Ainz just said, lol. Ainz just said that he wasn't going to fight seriously. I think you should give him that question once you beat him. Yeah, we need to get that dude on our side. He's hella strong. Come on, can we can we cut back to the war? I want to see the bloodbath. I was going to say, how did he even get away from Albedo alive? But then, yeah, to be fair, Ainz told her not to kill him. So are these guys on the same squad? It's a dragon? That's fucking awesome. Bro, that's sick. A dragon controlling their armor? That's nice. Wait, he's referring to a player right now? Is the dragon a player? Or does he... How does he know about players? Yeah, I was going to say, he struggled against Albedo. The world's strongest dragon lord. Wow. Whatever name came to mind. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. Wow. Holy shit, dude. Damn. That's a cool character right there. Is this the King's Palace or is it Nazarick? Albedo looks so cool in her armor. Who are you bowing to? Oh my god. It wasn't even Ainz. That's hilarious. That makes so much sense. That didn't feel like Ainz. Still, though, that makes Pandora's act a hella strong. I don't know whether those the, the kind of magic he was using was kind of given to him at that time by Ainz or whether that was just magic Pandora's act could use. Um, but I think I've seen in one of the comments before someone said that Pandora's act is one of the strongest in Nazarick. Um, I don't know whether, I can't remember, it was something like top five or something like that. But um, yeah, overall, very good episode. Re really, really cool. I did want to see some uh, war bloodbath. Maybe we'll see that in the next episode. Maybe it'll be skipped over. I don't know. Maybe it's pointless just to show like thousands of soldiers being wiped out. I don't know. Overall, very good episode. Definitely looking forward to the next and then the finale episode. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching along with me. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.